Hello, my name is Rafal and I would like to welcome you to my YouTube channel. In this video, I would like to share with you another idea for creative background. I think this one is one of the cheapest concepts I have ever come up with and I think this idea can give you some very interesting and unique flavor to your headshots. I have tried this concept long time ago and to be honest, I completely forgot about it. But recently I was doing some shopping on Amazon and for some reason this ad pop up with some colorful neck scarves, which by the way, look super cool. They had very interesting patterns and extremely vibrant colors. And this company had such a huge variety of them. So it was very hard not to dig in and check what they were all about. Okay, the first thing what I have noticed, what in fact it was extremely important was their size. They're about 150 centimeters long and about 60 centimeters wide, which means I could potentially use them as a background. So I ordered three of them as I figured I would need few of them to fill the entire background area. I picked this particular pattern to create some kind of vignette effect. I have to admit I had really hard time to pick one style because each of them looks really cool and there were so many options and each of them could potentially work. So I just narrowed them down to about few and from that I pick one final look which was kind of pinkish color as I think those colors are very trendy these days. As I mentioned before, they were extremely cheap. I paid $7 each, but there was a hint. When they arrived, the quality wasn't what I wished for. They were not bad, but extremely light and thin. You can see through them, so the material is super delicate and the colors are not as saturated as I would like to, but hey, we have a Photoshop which can fix some of those deficiencies. So just a reminder, sometimes what you see on the pictures doesn't really reflect how the product actually looks like, but in this case, somehow I was able to take advantage of these inexpensive scars and create what I was hoping for. Also, I was able to use one of them as a prop, which I will discuss in a moment and show you some real examples. Okay, so let's get into the shoot details. This time, I didn't want my typical blurry background, as those scars have very interesting pattern and I really wanted to expose that. I attached those scarves to my white Navier background to make sure the light can reflect from it in the way I won't lose the pattern and color. In addition, I had one speed light right behind the model pointing at the background with just a touch of light to make sure those colors nicely pop on the image. I really want those scarves to be visible as much as possible and to be part of the image. So this time I had my model very close to the background so depth of field wouldn't affect the background and as you can see the model was literally a couple of feet away from it. I have used my typical clamshell and Rembrandt lighting, so nothing changes in that department. And again, I have used my Nikon D800 with my Nikon 7200 VR2 LEDs. On this shoot, I had a chance to work with two amazing models, Ava and Taylor, and we were trying to push some creative ideas and use those scars in different ways and implement them into the shoot. So I used them also as a headband, neck scarf, and also we shot this, which I think is kind of cool, not for typical headshot, but if you have models which are allow you to shoot some crazy concepts, I think it's worth to try something outside the box. So these are the images we got from the shoot. 
all of them went through some basic retouching process, simple dodge and burn for the skin, and some color adjustments to bring everything together. So let me know what you guys think and if that would be something you could use for your headshot creation. Okay, so in summary, I think this concept is quite interesting, especially you can choose specific patterns and colors for your own concepts. And I can assure you there's tons of options out there for a very little price. So if you're planning some creative headshot sessions, that might be a nice option. Also, because they're very light, you can take them to any shoot and really test them and see how they work from the practical perspective. As well, you can have them as a, some kind of backup if your clients decided they want something more creative. As I mentioned before, the one I have chosen are not as perfect, but they did the job. And I'm guessing you can find some with some more thick material, which will work way better. Anyways, I hope that was interesting. And if you have any additional questions, you know where to find me. So please feel free to send me an email or direct message on any of my social media platforms and I will make sure to get back to you right away. Okay, thank you again for watching. Stay tuned and I'll chat with you guys very soon. Bye-bye.